Millspec Monkey here. I wanted to show off some of the Maxpedition organizer pouches. Although this is quite a grand pile, as you can see, this is just some of them. This isn't even all of them. But in general, I thought if they're all laid out at once, it helps show the size differences, and we'll get into the more details. So it's kind of a cool concept where they've got so many pouches that you can really dial in the exact fit for you. Before we're getting super detailed, that would show off a little slightly more zoom. Got some general items to the size to help show scale. Let's get in there. Organizer party. All right, I thought I'd start off with the organizer pouches. It's the kind of general theme of the video. So the one that started off, kind of the medium EDC size. And so features wise, you can see very similar concepts, and it's mostly just changing size and a little bit of the layout. So it's medium size. The first thought was that it would fit in a cargo pocket. And features wise, starts off with a mesh pocket with a little hook and loop closure. Loop here for ID. Here's an example where I use numbers, say if the, I have multiples of the pouches of the same color. Opens up with double zippers, clamshell style, and you can see here in the interior. Loop, the elastic is doing most of the work for organization. This is kind of an audio video example, but you can get very creative with medical layouts, all kinds of gadgetry. So typically you'll have elastic elastic and then sleeve pockets. On this side you'll have a keeper and then a lash down point over here and that's about it. On the back you have a pull handle which is nice on retrieving it from bigger packs and say if you wanted to mount it to the exterior you've got pals webbing to mount it to other stuff. And then from this size say if you want to go a little smaller to fit in more pockets this is the mini so you still got your hook and loop for your mesh, got your loop up front, opens up with double zippers, still got your keeper and your lash down point, everything's very similar, just, a, just downsized. Still got your pull handle, pals on the back, and then things change up once you get to the micro. And, nope, oh, almost missed. So this size is where it's just about right for a 3x5 right and right. And they're changing it up a little bit where there's no hook and loop on the mesh pocket, no, no loop. And on the back, no pals webbing, but you still get your pull handle. Opens up with a single zipper. And just keep the example there. Single strip of one inch elastic. Still got your sleeves, but only a lash point, no keeper. So then from there, they got into the fatty, I think, is a good next progression. We're jumping around a little bit, but it'll make sense. So the fatty is similar idea to the EDC, and they add more depth and change the layout a little bit, but you'll see here soon. So we got hook and loop for here. Loop still opens up double zippers. And so now they got the lash down point over here with the keeper. Just a little bit more elastic action going on because uh, there's room on the spine. There's now some elastic here, and they go with more of a vertical format for the elastic on the right side with a zippered pocket rather than a sleeve pocket. Back stays consistent with pull handle and pals. And then from here, so keeping in mind, came the, the fatty, they call this one the skinny, which can be a little confusing, but just keep, keep in mind what they were thinking at the time. So very similar to the fatty, just a skinny version of it. So you still got your hook and loop, mesh loop opens up. And so it's got a D-ring over here as opposed to a keeper. But very similar elastic layout with your zippered pocket over here. And so this size, say if you just want to get in and out of your cargo pocket, say like the, the top opening is a little bit makes it difficult for retrieval. This is kind of a compromise. We're usually about the biggest you want to get into is the fatty for nuts if you have a tactical style cargo pocket to go into. So this is the beefy, which at this point you gotta have a really big pocket. Like most of the time that's no deal and this will have to go into a pack. 
So keeping up with the theme, you got your hook and loop for your mesh pocket. Big good strip of the loop here. Double zippers to open up. And it's pretty much just a big version of the fatty. So you got more space, you got a D-ring, lash down, all your goodies, just more room. Keeping consistent on the back. And that's it for the organizers. Next up I'll go over medical line pouches and they end up being a pretty good example of old versus new. It doesn't necessarily mean the old one's bad, just usually you'll get different color schemes and different material choices so uh, you can kind of dial in your preferences. So starting off with the individual first aid pouch, I like that it's kind of a, a flexible lighter weight Cordura type material. Exterior, you got your single zipper mesh pocket. Pull handle on the back, on the bottom. On the back, you got a nice set of pals just in case you want to mount it to something. Interior, let's see, we'll start on this side. So you got double zippers to get to a mesh, and then you got kind of a vinyl mesh hybrid over here with a single zipper. Pretty simple and effective. But I like to also use it as a travel pouch. It doesn't have to be just a medical one. And then the modern remix is the Imp, where I think an individual medical pouch was the idea, but they also call it individual first aid pouch. Clear vinyl single zipper on the front. Still got your pull handle on the bottom. They get into the laser cut style pals. Added a lanyard point. I like that they give a little ID here for sometimes it's hard to remember all the pouches. They got so many good ones. So a little cheat sheet for me. And then opening up, they do double zippers again. And this is kind of a good example. So there's a little bit more breathing room here for this double zipper side. And that was kind of a problem on the old one where you could start to bump in when you're doing your final closure would sometimes hit these sliders and you have more room on this one but the newer one will have breathing room for easier final closure. Interior, you've got elastic on the spine and single zipper over here we got room on both sides. Then back to old, I believe this is the FR1, kind of a good general purpose size, but made in a medical layout. Pals on the front, loop for ID, and normally this had a shock cord set up because there's a tunnel here where you can lash more items, say like a tourniquet or whatever. I just took it off for a lower profile approach. On the bottom, got a grommet. On the back, got pals. A little bit of webbing on the sides, D rings up top so you can get kind of creative, say if you want a shoulder strap, pull handle, opens up, double style, double zippers, and this is a little mess because I've released it so it's easier to show off, but normally there's a cord lock so you can really dial in so it doesn't fall out, so if you have it mounted to a vest, you can dial in how far it opens, which is pretty handy as a medical pouch. Also on that note, I've got kind of an audio video Example here where it doesn't have to be a medical pouch. So on this side you got multiple layers of elastic, two up here, mesh pocket, land your point, sneak it to the other side, double elastic, so thick and double elastic. So you can do layers of goods, single zipper for more security options. So generally a pretty pretty sweet layout. And then the modern version of that. I believe is the FRP for first response pouch and it's so, a so very similar concept you still got your loop got your laser cut pals I think they took off the webbing on the side but you still got your D-rings different style pull handle laser cut style pals on the back with your nice tack ties still got your grommet opens up with these nice fatty zipper pulls there you can actually see what I was talking about, where you have a cord lock to adjust how you want it to drop. So that's a little easier. I just took mine off on the other one because it was bumping into stuff. Anyway, so you got big mesh in the back, all kinds of elastic on elastic, so you can really dial it in. Land your point, switching sides, double beefy elastic again with the zippered 
security pocket. So that's just a good chunk, but not all, of the medical line pouches. Moving on to the next batch, to check out the more general purpose type pouches. This one, I believe, is the cap for compact admin pouch. I suppose the name might be a little play on our stealth compact, but they're pretty different pouches, so we're still buddies and whatnot. Starting with the exterior, we got the laser cut pals on the front, pull handle up top, have D-rings kind of like the medical series pouches. Good amount of pals laser cut on the back with their tack ties. And it opens up. You got two main compartments with the big beefy zipper pulls. And it's mostly kind of a slim elastic party on the more frontal compartment. And a little keeper. Sleeve pockets go down to the bottom. Simple but effective, so you can get some big stuff and some small stuff in there. And then the slightly bigger main compartment. More of the same, just a different layout. So you got bigger chunks for your elastic and sleeve pockets on both sides. Just kind of give a little variety, so it's more of a mirror image. Flash down point up top. And for kind of a variant of that is the DEP for daily essentials pouch, and it's kind of a stair step. You could almost make like a cute, looks like an assault pack for a dog or something. But, so it's tiered, so a little bit smaller, so if you wanted to hold smaller items without as much jiggling around. You got your sleeve pocket, single elastic, and that opens up with double zippers. Smaller amount of laser cut pals, loop, is a slight difference from the cap. And still have your D-rings, pull handle, laser cut pals on the back, nice ID of the pouch. And then the main compartment has a little bit of a different layout. So now you've got more tiers. You've got a sleeve pocket, mesh sleeve pocket, mesh sleeve pocket, and double elastic. So it's kind of a little bit of a remix. Give you more options. Land your lash point. And then I believe the AUP mixes up a little bit different where similar concepts, but you get an accordion style. So the accordion utility pouch. So that's the big show. We'll get back to there. So got your pals on the front, two tier. They're just slightly smaller. They're just a little bit of an offset to help differentiate the compartments. Still have your D-rings, your pull handle, nice good amount of pals, laser cut on the back. So first tier, kind of got a mix of vertical and horizontal organization with your good variety of compartments for your elastic sleeve pocket on this side. And moving on to the big show, so you've got these dividers, but then you also have your sleeve pockets on the more frontal and the more rear. These don't go all the way to the bottom for these, for better or worse. Sometimes that can help with really stuffing it. But if you wanted it to have a bottom closure, use the sleeve pockets. So that can be handy for quick divisions where you've got some more flat goods. You can stroll through to quickly find different sections. It's like sections and sections with lots of organizational options. This pile is more of a miscellaneous collection. Good variety, keeping the theme going. So this is the ERZ for Everyday Organizer. And it has kind of a bit of a hard case. It's not made of metal, but it adds a lot more rigidity to help prevent crushing. So you got a little bit of loop on the front. On the back, got PALS laser cut and a low profile pull cord, keeping with the general organizer themes. Opens up with double zippers, clamshell style. And simple like the other organizers. So you got keeper on this side, single zipper done in a new shape, slim elastic, more elastic dividers, with sleeve, a little bit of a remix of a layout if you, if you wanted something a little bit different. But the main thing is 
your hard style. And then a similar concept to that is the MRZ, which is the mini organizer. And more of the same, just a smaller format. Let's open it up so you can see. I'd say exact same layout, just scaled down. And getting into more quirky stuff, let's see, this, I believe the Moray pouch I'm probably mispronouncing, but 8x6 size, and it's an interesting material, like I haven't really seen it around, so it's meshy, you can barely see through, but it's very fine, so it's hard to accidentally snag stuff in there. So a balance between clear and mesh. And very simple, so you got clip-on, so it's easy to attach inside bags, get creative with your own lashing. Got single zippers on both sides, they're kind of different tiered. You can see how they're a little bit side different, so you can help keep track. And then, of course, up top, there's just some hardware thrown in here, so you can see how items lay in there. That was real handy for quick organization. And this is the MPP for medium padded pouch, it's more one that you would attach to a pack or other gear. And it's interesting, but you can still use it on its own where the general idea is that it's padded. For most of the other pouches are just one sheet of cordura. So starting with the back while we're here is laser cut pals, low profile pull cord, pull handle. And this one opens up a little bit different, so you got double zippers. Again, this is easier when it's actually on a pouch. So it opens up like so, and it even has a cool magnets here. So you can do a quick poop. So that's pretty fun if you just need the quick security without doing the full double zipper. And the way it opens up like this is unique. A good size for say medium sized lenses but there's all kinds of goodies you could put in there. Sleeve in the back, good for instructions and other goods. Show some more cool variety. We'll finish off the party here with the big stuff. These are the packing series, so they're a little bit more simple, but a great way to just hold clumps of gear together. So it's also another example of old versus new. So you got your cuboid series, and then your packing cube series. So conceptually wise, they go in large, medium, small, but they, they go about it differently. So for the cuboid series, the idea was you could fit multiple or two mediums in a large, or you could fit two smalls in a medium. And as far as functionality and whatnot, starting on the outside, you got pull handle, opens up with dual zippers. So one side is just straight up mesh, and then the other side has that vinyl mesh, a little cubby pocket. And so that general concept applies to all the different versions, they just change the sizes. And you can see how the sizing really changes once you have it full. So jumping to the packing cube series, they mix it up a little bit where you can kind of see the layout here where it's more for, say, a luggage layout. So even though you got large, medium, small, they can kind of go like this, but they, don't, they weren't necessarily meant to enter nest. They were meant to go in Maxpedition luggage layouts a little bit better, so see how it works out. Nice. So as far as material changes, you still got the double zippers. And before we get there, there's a seatbelt style pull handle, opening it up. So now they're using that fancy new Maxpedition mesh where you can see through it, but it's a little bit less snaggy because it's not quite the big holes of mesh. And then on this side you get a single zipper rather than just a cubby hole, which can help out for keeping items in place. And once again, the same applies to the different sizes. You can see how even though this is a small, just because it has stuff in it really changes the look of what it can hold. And on that note, when you really fill them up, so like here's an example of just a whole bunch of medical crap inside of big cuboid. You can really stuff these bad boys, where whether it be tactical gear or just say travel, like it's a real easy way to do clothing groups, like t-shirts and socks and whatnot. 
So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to show all the different kinds of organizers Maxpedition offers. Uh, sometimes they may seem like expensive at first, but I've always been real happy with all the ones I've checked out where it's made my travel and tactical organization way easier. Like I've, I've never regretted getting any of them. Thanks for watching.